<laughs> is that ten letters? Yes, it is. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> totally a plant. <laughs> What would be hilarious is if it got randomized uh, synthesis. Where <laughs> <laughs> oh. you find a synthesis TM? Or do you have what TMs they can learn randomized? Uh, they're randomized. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. To avoid being attacked, it does not it does nothing but mimic a tree. It hates water and flees from rain. <laughs> just walking through a forest and starts running the entire forest just starts running away. Oh my god, that would be <laughs> terrifying. This <laughs> <laughs> is Steven. Jolly nature, strong willed. Uh, spore, twister, grass pledge, struggle bug. Wow, are you fucking serious? <laughs> a special move list on a Pokemon with shit special attack with a special attack negative nature. Are you fucking serious? Well, he's totally a grass type special. <laughs> oh, shit. You know, my whole strategy of just using close combat on Steven kind of fell on its face right at the start. <laughs> because he starts with the Skarmory. <laughs> uh, can't learn. Totally a plant can't learn dig. <laughs> Totally a plant can't learn pluck! <laughs> totally a plant is fu <laughs> totally fucking useless! <laughs> <laughs> oh, totally a plant can learn, uh. knockoff. Uh, I guess Twister's gotta go first. Because it's the weakest of the moves. Also, isn't we fucking useful against dragons? Gear grind. Totally plant can learn gear grind. I'm going to make this fucker useful. <laughs> well, it really grinds my gears. <laughs> when rocks try to be plants. <laughs> Can totally not a plant learn cut. Yes, but I want to see if you. <laughs> I want to see if you can learn fly. <laughs> <laughs> so we can play fetch. <laughs> Is that a plant flying to the sky? It's a bird. It's a plane. It's a stick. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, totally went for the fucking Dexter's Lab reference there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I can't remember who I was talking to the other day, and I made that reference, and I was trying to fucking find a video on YouTube of IT'S A STICK! But all I could hear, I could, I could find every other line from that episode in the full episode, but not the dog calling Dee Dee a stick. I was disappointed. <laughs> wow, that still managed to do two damage. He must have a special attack positive nature and 31 IVs. <laughs> Considering how they hit with a power 20. What am I 
I doing? Idea. Um, mute the game. Turn on my music. And let me remove my framer. Suda Wuda must be in the place of Deerling. Hmm. Or is it Carablast that's really common? Are you still around Cold Storage? Hmm? Where are you around now? I'm on Route 6. Yeah, it's a steerling that's real common. Mm -hmm. Wants to learn Dragon Breath. Uh, I think Dragon Breath is going to be a little bit more useful than Egg Bomb. Well, with the fact that Egg Bomb is Slam, and Slam sucks. Uh, is that? Is that stuff going to be gone that I need? <laughs> and I actually don't readily have that available. And no! <laughs> Gibble! Gibble's got fucking head smash! <laughs> got bad touch! Don't want an antidote, I want a lemonade. Uh, it's not going to be content ID matched on YouTube, is it? Because I've been having to take shit off my playlist because I'm getting flagged. And even though I don't make a whole lot of, like, anything, I think in the two and a half years I've actually been a YouTube partner, I've probably gotten about $10 in... <coughs> Revenue, which isn't enough for a pay. You don't mind them, but it's not your video that's not making money. <laughs> I um. just woke him up! Stop using Spore, you faggot! And I don't have any awakenings, do I? I don't want to waste my Chesto Berries. <clears throat> Not that it matters anyway. Oh, yeah, that's actually what happens with a lot of the shit. Fucking, I had to take the uh, music from V off because someone that Terry Cavanaugh has gone on record saying, Hey, you don't own this. I do. I'm the one that says Let's Players are cool. Don't fucking claim their shit because of the music that's not yours. Free, nigga. No, I don't like air. <laughs> One of the best songs of Mega Man 4. I'll look through it and uh, see what I can put on for next time. Oh, this reminds me of when we first started YouTube. The first thing, uh, or when I first started YouTube, the first thing we did was race Mega Man. Yeah. 
I wouldn't mind going back and doing that again since I'm not complete shit at every video game ever, you know? Wait, we tried racing Mega Man back in... back in the day? The very first thing we did when I created my YouTube account was race Mega Man. Which YouTube account? You've had like three in the... My very almost... first one. Back in Corner Wolf Day? Yeah. I don't remember doing races back then. It was the very first thing we did, and it wasn't really much of a race, and it just turned into a let's play for you because I couldn't get past Wayman. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right! One of the things I said in my commentary was, yeah, my friend's a scrub! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't mind going back and doing something like that. Oh, shit. I... Uh, I've been saying for the longest time I've been up for races. Yeah, Square Enix has a bunch of penises. <clears throat> About their fucking music and everything. Though surprisingly enough, my, um... My original Final Fantasy 1 LP didn't get... Uh, flag fucked. Probably because most of it's not uh, monetized because it didn't auto monetize like three quarters of my fucking shit whenever I actually became a partner. They just need to make Yoshi the uh, CEO of Screen It's already. Screen needs to be the happen. best company ever. Yeah, and Nintendo needs to get rid of Satoru Iwata. <laughs> <laughs> that shit's not gonna happen. <laughs> I have a feeling I don't know. that dude's gonna if, drop dead in his office. <laughs> if Yoshi continues being as successful as he is, and then they put him on other projects that also were majorly successful, it could happen in the future. Yeah. I don't know, a lot of YouTubers wouldn't be so pissed at Nintendo if they would actually get new people in their upper management. <laughs> Yeah, <coughs> I'm actually going to uh, wager that Square Enix started going downhill once they became Square Enix. I'm bold enough to make that statement. <laughs> yeah, well, Square Enix. Uh, it was when I was in eighth grade. Was that early two thousands? No. 2003? Yeah. Yeah, because I remember my buddy letting me borrow his copy of Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. I'm like, why does this say Square Enix? <laughs> what the fuck is a Square Enix? <laughs> What's it doing in all my Final <laughs> Fantasy game? <laughs> what the fuck is a Sonic? <laughs> what the fuck is a Sonic? <laughs> Uh, why is Pseudo Wudo just tanking these water pulses? There we go! Oh, that was a crit. Never mind, it doesn't count. <laughs> um, <coughs> actually, no, 2003 was a great year for Square Enix, because that's when the original Crystal Chronicles came out, and that game was the tits. The someone on the GameCube, isn't it? Mm hmm. I don't know, I couldn't get into that one. I, I played it a little bit, and I'm like, eh. It's also when Sword of Mana came out for the Game Boy. Sword of Mana? Didn't like that game either. Um, Dragon Probably Quest because 5. it was a little kid, and uh, dialogue-heavy games just pissed me off. What about Dragon like... Quest V? That was a re-release. Doesn't count. That's when the Final Fantasy 1 and 2s came out for the Game Boy Advance in 04. I would much rather have this pseudo widow on my party than the one that I have. Synchronize is better than weak armor. Where... Dragon Quest is actually a pretty good series. 
I've been a fan of it since uh, as long as I can remember. Wait, did Final Fantasy XII come out before eleven? It did. It was in uh, eleven was in development for so long. I think it yeah. kind of went into development hell there for a while. Final Fantasy XII came out March sixteenth, two thousand six, and Final Fantasy eleven came out April eighteenth. Sacred Fire. That is tempting, even though it's a physical attack. Ooh, Eclipse of the Moon, my favorite song of the entire soundtrack of Hyrule Warriors. Oh, here's something that I don't know if you guys know this or not about Dragon Quest IX, but they actually pushed the limits of the hardware of the DS. So, like, there's times where there's a heavy, heavily populated area in a town, the frame rate will chug because of the amount of people on screen. <laughs> Uh, I think they said something that the West might get Dragon Quest X. I want that so bad. I would actually probably get back into MMOs if that's the case. Can't remember where I said that at. Yeah, Square Enix would love to bring Dragon Quest X to the West. This was stated in last year of September. Oh, shit. In terms of this being an MMO, again, we have to consider the operational logistics of how to make that feasible. We also have to think about it from a business standpoint. With Final Fantasy XI and XIV, it's a global scale endeavor. In terms of Dragon Quest, the way it is perceived in the different countries is very, very different. How it's perceived in Japan is different than how it's perceived in the United States. In addition, we'd have to build the new data center for pretty much every location, and we'd need to make sure that makes sense as a business. We want to be able to operate in the different regions. Again, we would love to do it, but we're still trying to work out the details and figure out what would work best. See, and you know the game is great because Yoshi was working on Dragon Quest X before they moved him to fourteen. Oh, really? So it's bound to be good. Oh, no. Here's something that you may or may not know about the Dragon Quest series. They did Pokemon first. <laughs> Dragon Quest VI. Had the uh, monster capturing mechanic. Really would like that fucking lucky egg now. You know, if there wasn't a shit ton of content for Hyrule Warriors that I haven't even done personally yet, I would think about streaming that game. Which game? Hyrule Warriors. Oh, I need to I need to get something figured out because I want to get a Wii U so I can play Hyrule Warriors and Smash and fucking Mario Kart. Mario Kart would be fun. Yeah. Jay needs to get his hands on his Wii U too. Cause yeah, I I know that he at least he and I have Smash 3D. I don't know about you. Mm -mm. And I've got <coughs> that Bridge 3DS on the way. But the thing is, playing Smash on the 3DS is clumsy as fuck for me. So, you know. Might be something you could get used to at some point. I don't know. Would help if uh, the 3DS wasn't a fucking pointy square. <laughs> Uh, the whole fucking crew needs to get a Wii U. Yeah. <laughs> like, the only one... Like, I think me and Doc are the only ones in the crew that have 
we use in Trappy if we really want to count him, but you know, we just squabble back and forth. <laughs> I don't know, maybe based on how much time there is before midnight whenever I get done with the uh, Mr. Alton Gym, because that's my target tonight, is beating Totally Not Skyla. <laughs> I like this song. So do I. That's why it's on my list. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Never would have guessed. <laughs> Imagine that, right? <laughs> oh, fuck. I still need to fucking figure out when I want to do this game. I need to figure out when I'm going to do a lot of shit. <laughs> but with the fact that, you know, every time I plan to do something, I get called into work. You know, like I was going to stream on Tuesday. But Peyton was all like, hey, could you cover for me? I'm like, I don't want to, but I will. I'm still waiting for him to call you in while you're streaming. Oh, I would say no. <laughs> so whenever I was going to get my quesadillas before I streamed, it's like whenever I posted on Twitter, hey, I'm going to snack something to eat and then I'm going to get ready. Ryan's like, hey, are you working on that? I'm like, no, I'm streaming. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, okay, have fun. <laughs> I just see him sitting there to himself, what the fuck is this stream? He's not... He's, like, a little bit older than I am. Oh. Uh -huh. So, yeah. He's not that far out of it. <laughs> I love how Suda Wood was like, yeah, it's a to... Such a good day for photosynthesis. <laughs> <laughs> Every time he uses spore on Eggman. <laughs> <coughs> Shit, that's. Why is that so funny? <laughs> oh, man. Part of me really wishes I had the artistic ability to do a comic. But then again, that's the entire reason why I'm doing these streams instead of comics. <laughs> Am I the only I one that thinks there's a lot of sexual tension between May and Brandon in Omega Ruby and Sapphire? Uh... No. How old is she supposed to be? Because she's got some pretty good development. Uh, I'll say it. I think they've been raised up to teenagers. You know... I don't know if you've noticed this, but every time you have a rival battle with, um... Brent, with, uh, May, it does a nice little ass shot as she grabs her Pokeball. Like, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they're, uh, May's 12. May is 12. That's weird. Yeah. That's weird! Hope you like lollies. <laughs> Doc does. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've killed all the totally nut plants, because I'm getting a shit ton of Kirkatots now. <laughs> you know what would be hilarious is if Kirkatok was in the place of, like, Carablast? Place a bug with a bug. <laughs> and I think Metapod might be in the place of Shelmet, because I don't see nearly as many of them. <laughs> oh, Lunatone! Neat! Oh, Lunatone's go! Well, uh, it had water absorb. <laughs> <laughs> it just tried to use entrainment on me. <laughs> to which it bounced back and became magic bounce. Ooh, potato berry.
Okay, I love how the tone just completely fucking changed once Great Warrior started playing. <laughs> I was all excited, and I'm like, yeah, no, must so. be reverent. <laughs> Probably? Stoned college kids? It's like that uh, comic where it's like elementary school, oh, Pokemon is so cool! And then on high school, Pokemon are losers, college, oh, Pokemon is so cool! <laughs> I know, I think the reason why Pokemon kind of falls out with high school kids is because they're trying to be edgy. Uh, oh, that too. They should just combine the two. Play Pokemon while well, having sex. And then everything will work out. Because I can't see how that could go poorly. <laughs> Be playing a Nuzlocke challenge and lose a Pokemon and punch her in the back of the head by mistake. <laughs> Bam. Oh god, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I <feel laughs> just like monkey sludged my <laughs> Why is your grind missing so much? Hey, uh, totally not a plant. Uh, use your totally not balls on your hands and just fucking clamp this bitch in the face! <laughs> well, he's not thinking of that, so... <sighs> there we go! Great warrior playing to the, uh, the credits. Oh yeah, that actually would fit really well with a Nuzlocke. Not just you know the fact that I'm playing a Nuzlocke while listening to the song, but I'm saying like listening to it while the credits roll. I kind of wish Totally Not a Plant didn't totally suck. And then he totally doesn't suck. <laughs> <laughs> 